bring in John Brown, Lord John Brown, a former member of the British Parliament. Uh, Lord Brown, a sentiment shifting towards remaining in the EU. What is your take on the latest developments that we just heard out of Ashley from London? Well, I think uh, he actually summed it up absolutely correctly. I think the murder, brutal murder of the Member of Parliament, Joe Cox, has had an adverse effect. And uh, there are certain people who are trying to describe the UKIP uh, immigration poster as racist. It's not racist at all, a UKIP policy. It's just aggregate numbers. They will only allow one person in if one person leaves the United Kingdom, regardless of race. But the racist badge is often uh, successfully pasted on anybody that stands up for sensible pol uh, political solutions uh, by the left. It happens in America as well. Lord Brown, in an opinion so, piece in the Wall Street Journal yesterday, uh, you said that this is perhaps the most worrying moment for the United Kingdom since World War II. What does it tell you that this referendum is so close? Well, it shows you how desperately split uh, Britain is, both within the political parties and on the street. Uh, and the reason is because the government will not ever tell the truth about the European Union. They didn't even when I was a member of parliament. They tried to disguise it all the time. But Margaret Thatcher forced a bit of daylight onto the situation. And this thing has been festering for years with the government. I mean, fancy Cameron just saying it's going to hurt the economy when Britain has a deficit, an average deficit for the last 40 years okay, so, well, of 24 billion a year. Lord and Brown, it's the second largest contributor. Let's talk about that point. Uh, because I did see you tweet out a couple days ago, a vote to leave would be the reject to reject the economic benefits and political security we enjoy in the EU. What do you see as the fallout, as far as the economy is concerned, uh, if, 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 the, if they were to leave? Uh, very little, because the European Union needs Great Britain far more than vice versa. And therefore, there will be a huge effort by the European Union and the World Trade Organization to heal any damage. New treaties will be done in an unbelievably short space of time. There will be a very short uh, time of disruption and uncertainty, but very quickly healed. And Britain will then be free of this socialist... Uh, over-regulated economy to trade worldwide instead of being restricted. I mean, the European Union doesn't even have a trade treaty with China or Japan, and it restricts Britain. So Britain will be free to trade worldwide, and it will be greatly beneficial economically and, of course, politically. Why would Britain trade its juries and its onus of proof in favour of the accused, so people are assumed not guilty, to one where there are no juries and a system where the accused is assumed to be guilty? Lord Brown. People will not. Uh, Michael Block is on set and wants to jump into the conversation. Yeah, Lord Brown, you're obviously offering a very optimistic um, scenario of how, of how uh, a, an exit from, the, uh, Europe, from Europe would play out. What sort of time frame could you put on some of these moves about renegotiation? Uh, people talk about two to three years. Are you suggesting something cleaner, uh, more, more expeditious than this? Yes, absolutely. I mean, quite ridiculous. Too. This is the scare tactics of Cameron's Project Fear basing on the fact that people don't really understand economics and therefore it's fertile ground for fear. Two to three years, the European Union can't afford that. I mean, Britain is the fifth largest economy in the world and the second largest contributor to the European Union. They can't afford Britain to leave without any new treaties. We'll still be trading with Germany. We're the second largest export for Germany, uh, market for Germany. So Germany will be anxious to trade with Britain. They'll all be, this will be done in very few weeks if not, in certain cases, days. For example, landing rights for aeroplanes will happen within days. And uh, this is just a scare tactics, like Cameron saying it's in danger, of, will, danger uh, it will cause World War III. I mean, this is just absolutely ridiculous. And claiming that the defense of Europe and the peace in Europe was due to the European Union. It was due to NATO, miles before the European Union was ever concocted. All right. Lord John Brown, it's great to have you. And, and if you could just, what do you make of President Obama and the White House's response uh, to this possible exit? 
Well, he's a part of the globalist elite, he's socialist, and therefore he's in favor of the socialist European Union and the first great experiment in the global government. Okay. And he's threatened the British people being 10th in the line. We weren't 10th in the line over Iraq, we weren't 10th in the line over this is the Second World War or Korea. We were first. Okay. We're the most fervent ally of the United States, and that special relationship will be broken if we stay in the European Union, as will our giving up of our nuclear deterrent and our permanent seat on the UN Security Council. Lord John Brown, so good to have you. Thank you for joining us, and good to get your perspective on that this morning. Thank you very much. All right.